What's happening? What's happening? For them. <laughs> Do I sound like What's happening? Johnson? All right, we're going to tackle Limbo's Mountain in 10 minutes. Yeah, what's happening, folks? All right, I think there's like uh, something behind me. Nope. I promise. No, but oh, that's. There mayhem. are three new moves to learn in this world. That's, Find the mole. That's Mayhem Temple. Maya Hem Temple? Yeah. Yep. Jinjo! 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 I need a talent oh, trot and on the double. That Jinjo. Oh, I got an Ecom Bokum! An Ecom Tokum. Well, I don't. I still don't know what he says with all that. Ecom Bokum. Shouldn't there have been an explanation for an Ecom Bokum? In the second time... game, there is more of Mumbo lore still not used to the inversion. There's some mumbo lore. What do you mean? It, it kind of, oh, look how blue the blue Ooh. Jinji looks purple. Almost. Their eyes are really pretty. Yeah, no, I love, love Jinji. Look at those notes. Everything looks so good I in know. Banjo I'm, HD. I'm excited. Good thing we spent the 15.90 dine or whatever, right, buddy? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. And I don't have a job yeah. except I make YouTube money. Not really. Watch my videos. I monetize all the videos, but the last couple have been getting copyright. That's because Nintendo's being a bubble. No, it's just their automatic, like, picker-upper. They just, like, find it somehow. I don't know. Where is the talent trot? Uh, the talent trot is up by the, uh, Stonehenge. Let's go to the Stonehenge. Let's go to the Stonehenge. Because we need the egg move. Oh. Egg move is by the... Mickey's. This inversion is killing my time. I want to make the leader more. Uh, yeah. Well, Mumbo's Mountain's so easy. It takes like 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. Hey, it's a Jiggy! We could get an achievement, but well, you know what? We'll just go to find Bottles Molehill and How do you get it. call a... him out? Oh, it's what? Weston B. What was it? It's X. The X? Talent Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That's inappropriate. Hold the right trigger. What if I want to use the left trigger, Bottles? What then, buddy? I think you can do either one. Oh. Well, he should say that then. Woo! You know, I really. Think. Well, I guess since we can't do N64 games, we can't do Conquer. I say we bite the bullet one day and buy the Xbox version. It's fine with me. But once I have a job, I never really buy anything. Oh, it's getting jiggy with it. My favorite Let's Will Smith song. Oh. Two jiggies. Perfect. <laughs> um, I never really. What was I talking about? I never Conquer? buy a lot of stuff. I just buy books and video games. Well, and games. that's a video game. So I can buy that once I have a job. Okay. I'm sucking at this control right now. Well, the only problem with Conquer on Xbox is it's censored. They censor oh. Are you goddamn <laughs> kidding me? I've never played this on Xbox. You played Tui on Xbox. Oh, it's on Ecom Bokum. Ooh. Um, I'm trying to play too fast. That's my problem. The I'm trying to one, beat all the records. The orange one looks transparent. Oh, there's the. Oh, God. His mouth. Oh, that's scary. It's just me. his bottom jaw. That's scary. That's how talking works. Well, it's weird because the other character. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the controls. It really is. It's, no, that's not why I'm upset. I'm used to C stick. Hey, you know what? That's not a big deal. I mean, not C stick. Um, C buttons. C buttons. C buttons. C buttons. C boss. No sticky. If anyone <laughs> has seen this one, AO commercial, where the guy says C boss, no sticky. Please let me know. What's the context of it? I think it's some sort of Ego product. Well, yes, but like, what is the premise of the commercial? A guy is like running to a bar. Yeah. And he gets to the bar, and everyone laughs at him. So like, oh, you're an idiot. That Ego product you have is probably ruining your coat. <laughs> and he, it's some sort of on the go, like waffle thing. You gotta get the fruit on the tree. Oh yeah. Jimpy hungry. Obviously. And then, I'm not exactly sure why Kong, is his name Conga? Congo? Conga. Or he says, because he talks in... Congas. Congo. He's in the g second game as a ringleader. Well, it's because his tree-throwing thing, it didn't get him anywhere in life. But wouldn't he be very upset that... Or he'd be pissed that Banjo and Kazooie were trying to get into his circus. That's why he's kind of a dick to you, right? Well, he's just like, oh, if you get four tickets, then you can get in. Well, it's his job now. He's moved on with his life. Well, it's not like you worked for much. I mean, he's just tossing oranges at you, man. Sure, sure. I'm, I gotta know how to do eggs. Right or left trigger, then press Y. Alright, that's good. Well, how do you shoot out your butt? Because you need to learn that. Press B instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. First place is on there. Well, that's great. <laughs> so, yeah, I never 
There's no real use for the poop eggs except for the, the filling the buckets on Mad Monster Mansion. The ones that say fuck you? Yeah. Well, they say thank you. Fuck you. Thank you. And then there's a, that, <gasps> there's a bucket in uh, the treasure trove cove for the, the castle. Shoot! 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 Shoot that eggs in the monkey! He needs... What's your favorite breakfast food? Mine's eggs. And hash browns and waffle house. Uh, biscuits and gravy. Do you like white gravy? Yes. Do you like gray gravy? Brown that's, gravy. That's a difference. I meant... Oh, yeah, I like brown gravy. I meant brown gravy. You gotta hit the witch switch, too! I know, I know! <laughs> I didn't want the jiggy to slip away. We're gonna be able to do, like, two worlds per episode, because we're going so fast. No, this... this <gasps> oh, nice. Alright. See if you moan. <laughs> okay, we got it. Oh, eat 'em, poke 'em. <laughs> oh, I didn't learn the butt bomb yet. Oh, you haven't learned the butt bomb. Okay. All right, here we go. It's no big deal. Well, see, that's what always hurts my time. Where's the I bulldog? Never... He's around. Oh shit! Get away! That's his name's Regis. What's no, not? <laughs> Reginald. Fizeme. Okay, remind me when I'm shooting the eggs at the totem pole to not kill the last oh, totem yeah, yeah. pole, because I gotta get the honeycomb. Gotta get that honeycomb. You gotta get the other one when you're dance. Or you could probably fall down. No, you can just fall down. Okay. Hey, another Jiggy. This one thing so I like easy. more about Chewie is that you don't have to see this shit every time you yeah. to get a Jiggy. I like the, uh, I don't... Here's here's a question. Here's the answer. So, you know, Banjo does this little jig. He's like, boot do 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 And then, does Kazooie eat it? Yes. So then, when you put it in the puzzle, she just regurgitates it. I think she eats it and regurgitates it. Oh, fuck, I still gotta learn this fucking butt bomb move. Yeah. Where the hell is it? Uh, to the corner uh, right there. Yeah. So. I always wanted to be one of those guys. Why? They look like <laughs> deformed grimaces. I don't know. Hey, Grimace is my least favorite McDonald Lane character. Yeah, he's I, pretty fucking weird. Have I told you my horror story? No. Oh my god. Is it scary? Yes. Well. I guess it was scary for me because I was a little kid. So, okay, background information. My mom used to be a manager at McDonald's. And since then, she has moved on to selling coupons for McDonald's. She manufactures her own coupons, calls all the restaurants, and gets them to order packs of coupons. So, when she was first starting, it was just a really small business. She had like a little tiny meth lab looking house in Arnold that she worked out of as her business. And. So your mom's like really like super awesome. Like, yeah, like she she like started at the bottom and now she's here. Now we are now here. Super... Yeah, your mom seems very cool. I wish I knew her better. She's pretty cool. Um, but to promote her product before it was like really well known. Oh, geez, I know. She uh, she rented a grimace costume. Oh no. From, oh what? From like what? a costume store. Where the store. hell did this come from? Oh, that's from Jinjo's. Oh, I didn't even notice. Um, so she, she rented some Grimace costume from, I guess, like, corporate McDonald's or something. Uh -huh. And, like, my dad would stand outside one of the restaurants in the costume. And this was back when I was still in, like, daycare, preschool, whatever you want to call it. Uh -huh. And they came to pick me up one day, and my mom comes in. And she's like, oh, hi, Nick. I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Holy shit, look at these jiggies. I know. And I'm like, oh, cool, what is it? My dad comes in in the fucking Grimace costume. Oh, no. And it's big and purple and scary, and it looks like just when you you choke the head of your penis, it just looks all purple, and it's just Is there horrifying, absolutely here? horrifying. No, and I run to, across the entire classroom in the preschool, screaming, "Get away! Get away! You're freaking me out!" And my dad's like, "Oh, it's just me," and you can't see his face at all, completely covered in grimace. And oh. that just scarred. You have to be an ant. I uh, usually I can get the jump. Okay. Well, there's still I still need another Ecom Bokum. I don't have enough. Is there one in his hut? Because I, I got the weird one behind that rock. I think you only need two. No, you need like five. Oh, there's one in the hill. What? There's one in the ant hill. In the ant hill? Yeah. Okay. It's like on the first ledge. God or damn it! This shit is messing. This up. game. No, zero it's out just, of ten. I'm just not used to. Not having the C button. Needs more SMGs. <laughs> but yeah, no. And then we had to keep the costume in our garage when my there dad wasn't using it. There's the staring me down. I got five. So that is my story of how 
The Grimace freaked me yeah? out. Yeah? Wanna hear a worse one? Mm -hmm. I got a worse one for you. So you know the fucking Pillsbury Doughboy? Yeah. You remember when there was that gigantic one by Snooks? No. Like Deerbergs, I mean? Was it like a guy in a costume? No, it was like a blow God, up. Mumbo looks like he's on crack. Okay. When I was a kid, I thought Go no, Ghostbusters no, 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 no. was supposed to be a scary movie. It was, I guess, as a kid. I never saw it, it as it's, a kid. It's just a comedy. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, when I was a kid, I thought it was supposed to be scary, so I was, like, afraid of it. Absolutely. And there's this scene with the Stay Puft Marshmallow guy, <laughs> and I thought that, that was the Pillsbury Doughboy. It was uh, huge inflatable by yeah. this grocery store. And my mom and dad, it was the uh, Oscar Mayer Wiener truck was also there. Oh, that's for cool. For some fucking reason. And uh, I was just freaking out. And I, like, <laughs> ran into the car, and I was like, oh, my God. I thought I was gonna fucking die uh, from this stupid piece of shit. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Achievement on lots. Look at all these achievements. Um, termite. Oh, it's a termite, not an ant. You thought it was an ant. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we both have very horrifying uh, childhood stories. But, yeah. and after all that happened, I couldn't sleep with my blinds open in my room at night uh -huh. because I thought <laughs> that the grimace was going to look into my room <laughs> and still to this day I can't sleep with my blinds open. Really? PTSD man. It didn't happen, thank God. <laughs> but I I still just I, like uh... get really hot and sweaty mom spaghetti when <laughs> when my blinds are open. There was this movie called It with a clown in it. Stephen King. Yeah, I saw that when I was four years old. Why? My parents just baptized me by fire with horror movies. Okay, that's fine. And uh, I I couldn't sleep for three months because my closet doesn't close all the way. Okay. And I had this red coat, but I could only see a little bit of it. And I thought it was like the edge of the clown's <laughs> hair in my closet. Yeah. And I slept under the covers for like three months. Oh my god. Just... Oh, they play the little music. If you now I gotta get the honeycomb. Yeah. Oh wait, I fucking did I get the grunty switch? No. You oh, gotta get that. Fucking yeah, now I gotta transform twice. Oh shit. Are you sure I didn't get it? I'm positive, yo. I'm gonna check. You didn't, because you got there and you're like, I need the buck bomb. I thought I went back. No, you didn't go back. God damn it, that's gonna cut down my time. I'm not gonna make the oh. leaderboard. Well no, it, I it works though. I thought it was just once you get all the jiggies it stops. What stops? The timer for leaderboard. Oh. Is it just like total time spent in the level? I think it's total time spent in the level. That's gay balls, man. <sighs> now I have to transform twice. Oh no! That's gonna kill my time. I'm gonna kill it. Hey, subscribers, if you want to challenge us to Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> simply PM us with your gamer tag, and maybe you'll be on the show. My web zone. Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah. Pizza's, pizza's rolls. Shane, what did you get for Christmas? I I got a, my first winter coat. I've wow. never had a winter coat before. Oh yeah, a bunch of jackets is it's, all you have. It's from Jack's Threads. It's okay. really stylish. Nice, nice. I got some jeans. Okay. I'm wearing them right now. I can't tell if they're blue or black. They're black. They are? Yes. They look blue to me. I'm colorblind with darker colors. Are you actually? Yeah, I can't tell the difference between... Okay. Uh, if it's like darker shades of brown, navy blue, or black, it all it all looks the same to me. That's scary. It's not really bad. Like I, I can, it's not like I don't know colors. Like I can see this brown, of course. But with like these colored jeans and like I can't tell the difference between a dark navy blue and black. Right? That's so, weird. Yeah, my dad is also. Color. Okay. Well, I know, I know there's different kinds of colors. Yeah, I can see, like, a lot of people, a common one is red and green. Yeah, yeah. And that's bad for, like, stoplights and shit. And Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I also got a lot of books. Okay. Um, what books you get? Not that I would know what they are. I got but... Train Spotting, which is... Is it about Train Spotting? It's about... It was this really good movie, actually. It got turned into a great movie with Ewan McGregor, who played Obi-Wan Kenobi. I know that guy. Yeah, it got turned into a great movie. Um, I got this book called White Noise. Mm-hmm. I got this, one of the greatest American novels ever, called Gravity's Rainbow. It's very complex, you have to have a companion book to read it, and I also got the companion book. Does it, like, help you understand things? There's a lot of historical and cultural references that you might not understand. Do they not have footnotes at the bottom? No. There's never been a footnote edition. Okay. That's just how the author is. That's silly. What are you doing? He's never been seen on the exiting the level. Did you get the honeycomb? Yeah. Okay. And the author has never been seen before. He was in an episode of The Simpsons, but he had a bag on his head. <laughs> That's funny. 
yeah. Anyway, I got that and the companion, and I also got a book of short stories oh. called Everything That Rises Must Converge. By Shel Silverstein. By Flannery O'Connor. By Shel Flannery. Um, and I got, uh, my sister bought me Legend of Zelda, The Link Between Worlds. Ooh. I'm enjoying it. It's a little easy. I heard. hear that Hero's Quest is a bitch. So. Can you start that right from the beginning? No. You, you gotta, gotta beat it. So, that is Mumbo's Mountain. Um, we're good at this game, by the way. We know everything. There's a few hiccups here and there, but it's all the same to me. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Yeah, alright. We'll see, see you fags next time. I was gonna say fags. Oh, <laughs> get out of my head.